Yeah, all right, lads. So today we're going to be reviewing Inform Pablo Perez, plays for Boca Juniors in the Primera Division. He's five foot ten tall, right foot. He's got high medium work rates, a three star weak four and three star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts was 93 aggression, 86 short pass, 85 stamina, 84 ball control, and 84 balance. We have also included all the upgrades over his non inform as a comparison for you. So you can see each individual stat upgrade from all of his stats there. So this is the team we used Inform Perez in, a 4-2-3-1 Argentinian team with Perez at Cam. So now onto the gameplay, so you can see how he was performing for me. Now looking at his card stats, he does have some nicely rounded stats on him. With that 80 dribbling and that 81 passing being his standout stats. And with his high attacking work rate as well, I think he did look a great candidate for the Cam role. And he did actually put in some superb performances in game at Cam. Really, really uh, glad I did decide to play him as a Cam rather than a centre mid. Did have a nice passing game on him and he did rack up a few assists for his teammates. Great creatively, did create the space for his passes as he does have decent dribbling and it is helped out with his 81 agility and 84 balance as well. Certainly can find the space. You're not going to be struggling too much with Perez. And he does have that 93 aggression on him as well so he can press the defenders hard hunting for that mistake uh, can win the ball high up which is a great thing to get now shooting isn't the best but he does have 80 shot power although we didn't really use it all that much he did actually manage to grab four goals from attacking midfield and the majority of those goals were actually coming on his weaker three star left foot so that three star weak foot was not too bad he does have three star skills as well which is fine you've always got the roulette to throw in uh, a few ball rolls and that's all I need three star skills is good obviously is a lot better than two so let's have a look at Inform Perez's performance stats. So in seven games, he did manage to bag four goals and get five assists. So a great return there, in my opinion. All stats are on the left. Goals are on the right-hand side there. That position map does show you where the goals are scored and assists are created as well. So overall, we're going to give Inform Perez an 8.5 out of 10. Did really make a solid attacking midfielder. But can cope as a centre mid as well. He does have those great all-round stats. Does have a bit of everything in his game. A bit of defence. Does have decent pace. Superb creator getting those five assists. And he can get on the score sheet as well. As you're saying, can get those goals from uh, Cam. So you're not going to be struggling with Perez if you try him out. I really do think he's a really nice, solid player. So it does make a cracking all-rounder in the midfield. Defo, defo is worth a purchase in my opinion. So finally, we're just going to leave you with Inform Perez's positives and negatives to look at. Now, his price range is 16 to 35k on the PlayStation, 14 to 28k on the Xbox. Can be bought at his minimum prices. So I would pay that for Perez. Uh, we did pay 14 to 50. That was straight after release. But probably will get lowered and will be a definite bargain if he does get lowered to around this car price. And he is perfect for the Primera Division side. Obviously, a bit more popular with Tevez return, and you may get a lot more uh, people wanting wanting to make a Premier Division side. Does have a lot of nice players, to be honest. So please smash a like if you did enjoy this review and subscribe if you're new as well. Got loads more stuff to check out on the channel, loads more to come as well. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. I really do appreciate it. Cheers, lads. See you later.